Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about how to treat a sinus infection. First of all, we need to talk about the different kinds of sinus infections people can get. The most common is the common cold. It's caused by a virus, and yes, it infects the nose, but it also infects the cavities within the head that normally hold air. These are the sinuses, and there are four pair of them. One pair here behind these bones, one pair behind these bones, and two more pair deeper in the head. When a cold occurs, we call that a viral rhinosinusitis, and you may see fluid in the sinuses on x-ray. But the important thing is this is a virus, and there's really not a lot to do about it other than symptomatic care. The second type of sinusitis is an acute bacterial rhinosinusitis. This means that instead of a virus, now you have a bacterial infection, but it hasn't been there very long, usually a week or two. This usually occurs as a result of a cold, usually later on in the cold, and you know that it's there because of a fever that comes back after it's gone away within the first few days of the cold, or because the cold symptoms are simply lasting too long. In adults, facial or headache, pain may be a presenting sign, although in children this is relatively rare. How you treat an acute bacterial sinusitis depends on whether the patient is an adult or a child. We know in children that antibiotics can be helpful in reducing symptoms and making the disease go away sooner. In adults, it's not so clear whether antibiotics really have a role. And many physicians are moving away from antibiotics and toward more natural interventions like, for example, nasal irrigation with a neti pot. Uh, the last kind of sinusitis is called a chronic sinusitis, and this can be very difficult to treat. There are some surgeries and antibiotics that have been tried. Nasal steroids may make a little bit of difference, and in fact, nasal steroids may hasten the relief from an acute bacterial sinusitis as well. But it's not at all clear still that there's really a slam dunk therapy for a chronic sinusitis. So if you've had a sinusitis for more than a month, you really want to work close with your ear, nose, and throat doctor or your primary care doctor to look through the various modalities that are available and figure out if where there's one that seems like it might work best for you. Talking about treating sinusitis, I'm Dr. David Hill.